Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the Azan, and last we left off, Dark Green and Yellow had just staved off an attack from Verelion, our mage player. Unfortunately, our mage player did not find this to his enjoyment, and despite enjoying a huge chunk of the map, and, you know, part of the winning team so far, despite, of course, the druid aggression they were recently suffering, but I think you can always come back from that, he decided to leave the game, leaving the North Alliance with, admittedly, two very strong players. I think that green and purple together are remarkably powerful. They have excellent range damage, they have wonderful spells, they have great synergy. And look at the damage that they just did to yellow's sad little army. I mean, green just looked at it and it started to fall apart. It was obscene. Zeppelin's being picked out of the sky, griffin riders murdered before they can do anything. It's insane. Green is hugely powerful on the range front. Those far striders are no joke whatsoever. Oh, there we go. And King Varian's there with his movement speed aura, basically encouraging everyone to chase down everything they've ever hated ever. Now, oh shit, but unfortunately Purple did manage to destroy Ironforge. Oh, the crumbled ruins. The wreckage. Sad dwarven warriors fighting over the broken rubble of their once great homeland. The sadness. The horror. Got him. Yeah, but your base is permanently destroyed. I don't know if that's a got him moment. Could be. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm not good at this. But in Northrend, the Night Elves and the Druids are getting ready for their next big engagement. It's going to be against the North Lions or the South Lions. My guess is they will continue their campaign against the North Alliance. Unfortunately for them, since they have just lost a player, but now, as you can see, these Far Striders just focusing down those heroes one by one. Did he not get back up, Romeo Union? I swear to God, where the fuck is your Bolvar? Your units are about to die. He, you have no answer to the damage he does. He has answers to the damage you do. Oh my God. Oh, the damage is so real. Stormwind Champions fall like hunks when Forest Riders aim them. Oh my God. I mean, I get it. It's almost 100 hero damage, but still... It surprises me every time. And now purple and dark green getting chased back a little bit. Yellow able to chase purple out, but purple's going to... He's going to claim the moral victory here. Or the high ground, or whatever you want to call it at the end of the day. And Varian Rin's going to say for the possibility of getting trapped by his own team. Crap Trap. Crap Trap was one of the names considered for Clap Trap. In Fallout, sorry, Borderlands 2. Fallout 4, Borderlands 2. So many things in my head. Huh. <sighs> It's always one of the fun things about like just getting to know people and developing uh, knowledge of a person is the things you pick up from them. You know, you just stuff things along the way, whether it be a saying, you know, or uh, interest in a game, interest in a show, maybe a new type of food you liked, or... Something you never did before that now you do more often. It's become like an actual part of your life. It's weird how those things build up over time. It's weird how the people that you are with genuinely do affect the person you are. And uh, by that I mean getting caught. Oh snap! Purple's like, well fuck it, I didn't capture almost anything that I wanted, so now the world sucks and Dark Green's gonna leave you alone and die! Dark Green, put back in there! This is a real fight right now, this is no some dumb shit, the healing wards are in, you need to run and attack the back lines and support units, you need to do something to get Yellow out of the horror that he is currently living in, and I know you're trying to heal everything at once and stuff's dying at just a rate that you didn't think was possible, I mean, my god. Honestly, even the crown heals, these storm of champions are just laughing at how little help they get. But yellow is chipping away at the army that he's fighting, and the storm of champions are not totally dead. Oh, but then a folly comes in, it's targeting Bolvar, targeting the main chunk of that. Dark green is so close. Oh, he's got to be careful. Varian Red could drop right now if Bolvar does not have the heals to do right now. I'm moving on half speed, and even that was insanely fast. Uh, yellow is continuing to kill off these knights, but dark green losing a hero. What's going to determine everything is where the Druids decide to go next. And as you can see, that he has boats spread out all over the place with wisps in them. So he is basically ready to go anywhere at any point. He can establish a base immediately and start building up. That is, God, that is 
It's such a- Oh, fucking diddlywinks. Oh my god, grab it with your Stormwind Champion and leave. Get it with Danith Troll- Get out of there now. Oh, fuck. Okay, you got out. Danith Trollbane's gonna get out. Everyone's just gonna leave for a little while. Holy crap. Grace, did you manage to keep Bold Brawl Bear Metal? Let me see what it looks like now. He's a beast. 20 armor. 71 to 116 heroes. I don't think there's a Demi in this game that matches him. There's definitely heroes at this point who do. But Demi's... I'd have to see his abilities. I bet he's got some kind of a bash. Maybe a roar. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, here. I saw a portal. Oh, shit. They realized it. Well, the North Alliance realized it in time to back up. And Yellow's holding this line. For all that I made fun of him for, he is playing to his strengths. The continued Griffin Rider building is a little weird. I get it. It's still a little weird. I mean, look at that. Look at it. It's freaking effective. I can't even make fun of the man. It's insane. Um, but I don't know if he knows that Ironforge Swords is how they upgrades Griffin Riders and not the ranged attacks that he's using for everything else in his army. Um, Brown's got it up there. I mean, now they are just deep in Green's base, and Green's got to respond somehow because Light Blue is pretty scary. The upgrades aren't exactly even, because Gray Brown is just insanely ahead of everyone, but Light Blue's got some scary archers there. And these Huntresses aren't going to fall down to what he's got. Oh, there we go. There goes the chip damage. I, you know, I love me some lightning shields. Oh. What's this now, Batsy? Oh, Batsy. My up shadow song. That's why you don't have her in an army. She's the like, she's the one melee unit in an entirely ranged army. Of course, she's the thing on the front lines. First thing everyone hits. It's the worst. She just rushes into it. Uh, brawl bear mats almost going down in Malfurion Stormwind. Shocked, I say, shocked at the amount of damage that Green is able to kick out with those far striders. Everyone always is. They really kind of forget them later on. They're like, oh, Green's just Magus. No, Magus is the first thing Green is, and then later on, Green is just a lot of shit. He's inner fires, he's polymorphs, he's far striders, he's murder squads, he's a lot of... Th I mean, look at that, Brawl, Brawl, beastly Brawl is just falling down like a punk. And actually being pushed back right now, may need to reinforce, this is shocking. Both Margarethos, level 8, uh, but Brawl's still on the front line. I'll give him that. Maev could probably duke it out near Brawl or near this, you know, army of Furbogs that are going on here. I love the choice of the army of Furbogs because it just means that everything on the front lines is also going to take a little bit more damage. The only problem is Furbogs are very easy to kill. They're only 500 health. Yeah, Yellow's right. They did leave. It's okay to get in there. Do some shit. And Fandral get named down. No rejuvenation for you. Oh, I think Green thought that was a guaranteed kill. Didn't see that he missed that. That is a shame. We can see healing scrolls seem to be name of the game today. Brawl? No, someone died though. Those are some boots of speed and rings of protection. Plus four. My god. The hell was carrying those? Brawl, baby. No, brawl. No, baby. No, brawl. No, brawl. <sighs> you better get him back out of there. Or I'll kill you. Don't let him close the gate, man. Roll back out of there. He deserves better. He deserves better, goddamn. Now he's gonna die. Is that Brawl? Was that Brawl's second form? I think that was. I think he's a bear the first time and then a regular person the second time. Or he just didn't get to go into bear mode again the second time. Something like that. Oh, that was interesting. I'm gonna have to play this version, but wow. Brown, I'm sorry, I'm missing the big play here, which is Brown building goddamn ships right on Yellow's base. Basically guaranteeing that... Yeah, I, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, man, do not taunt the Far Striders. Do not fuck with them. They will mana burn your ass so goddamn hard. Those High Omegas will mana burn you so hard. You, you, your head will spin. You show goddamn respect. <laughs>
I gotta give this to the North Alliance. They are holding like beasts. They are not flagging in the face of absolute insanity. They have a Night Elves that are very well prepared. Attack them right after they lost a unit. They lost a huge chunk of their income. They just fought a war. They've been going at it nonstop. North Alliance has been absolute troopers this game so far. Even though they really didn't have a fight until all this started. But <laughs> North Alliance is doing well. Look at that. Taking out Malfurion. Really sticking in there. Those Silver Round Paladins are 5-7. They are super tanky. It's in a 23 armor. Nothing that the Night Elves have even comes close to the kind of durability that their army enjoys right now. The only problem is, is for green, keeping those Magus alive. He has the money to do it. He's got the money for a much harder defense than he has put up. I think he's afraid at this point of the Night Elves. Frigate's kind of doing more damage. Oh, but he should be more afraid of just these Highland Magus dying. You'd rather have a squishy line of units, but he may be giving up right now. I think maybe the North Alliance is suffering a, uh, a defeat. Oh, man, that is brutal. And now Purple's going to suffer a defeat, yes? Uh, he's very trapped in. The Navy sees him. Asus is cut off from his allies. He's very sad. Very whole dramatic situation. Let's watch it play out. Fast too. God damn right, those little ripper bastards are fast. Oh my god, it's a blood fest. Look at them just hacking and tearing with the brutal claw. Those claws are huge for a reason, and now we know why. Oh, dangerous amongst the trees are the wolfen. And, and on that note, where do we go next? I have to wonder if, yeah, green's gonna continue playing after this, or... Nope, there goes purple. So I wonder if gray will join South Alliance? Or if this is about to be an attack? Ah, oh, fuck me, it is. I thought you guys were gonna ally. It's that gray's gotta fight for every inch of every place that he ever wants to call a home, and he's doing decent damage to the chunk of that dark green army. And his orc champions are okay. It's just, I don't know if he's got... Don't be wrong. He's a baller for this right now. I want to just say, Gray is absolutely amazing for this. But Dark Green does have the portal control nexus, if I'm not wrong. Oh, yeah, look, that's 105 damage. I mean, you can go for that murder, but he's also got the extra armor. It's pretty brutal. They're not going to take too much damage from that sad little limp attack you just did. Oh, man, you thought those guys were a lot weaker than they are. Oh, that Stormwind Champion still has the crown. I don't know if Dark Green's aware of that. Uh, also, yeah, they will murder your Blade Masters. These Stormwind Champions, I know those guys and horses in this game are kind of jokes, but these don't. Don't fuck with them. Uh, Horde Champions continuing to hold the line. Very good against the Outriders, very good against the Militia, everything else. The Orc Warlocks are healing up. Unfortunately, the Blade Master Squad does die, but now that Dark Green remembered to put... <laughs> looks like he remembered to put it on his hero. He will heal up his army. You know what? Gray gave him an interesting fight. Now yellow's here. So Gray's got to figure out how to become a nomad again? Does he have a control point? He's got seven. I can't mock him. With zero allies. He may control some islands that I don't know about. Or he controls all of the inside of Outland. And potentially nothing else. That could be not good for him. Stem of heart. What are you doing? You want to keep playing? Yeah, level nine. Yeah, level two, level nines. Look at that. He is. He's putting the class. He's getting his class stuff sorted out. He's getting things put away. He knows he's safe right now. OJ's, but like, there's a whole literal civilization surrounding him, and he has safety, and he has some time to think about what he wants to do. It's always a good feeling when that happens. That's why those second chances are there. That's second chances are there for like my whole team has collapsed and now I want a second chance? No, it's like you didn't die first, so your second chance kind of sucks. 
I get it. They already control where you're coming in. Too bad, deal with it. And slaughtering more innocent workers. That works too. Not advised, but it works. It just slows down production overall is what I've found. I'm sorry. It's very confusing when my friends message me things that just don't make sense. Like, I have to pee. That's okay, cool. Pee. That's awesome. Good for you. Do that thing that you need to do. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, look at that. He's saying, Surrender. We may let you join us, fool. We may let you join us. We got really good 401ks and dental. I'm just. How the fuck did he get in those boats so fast? Kind of crazy ass cheating nonsense. He's got like a secret bear. Okay, he teleported to the barracks. And let's see if Dark Green knows. No, those mountains block it. See what Green's decides to do. The druids are now the team to beat as they storm their way across the entire continent. Mostly druids, I want to say. Quartes is all up in there. With 4-4 four, four upgrades on his army now. He's in the south. Holy crap, though. Suddenly finds himself teleported in and surrounded by an army of yellow. Maybe even possibly dying here if yellow is smart enough to wipe out this night elf transport ship with his griffin riders. In fact, I feel like brown not confident enough. Yellow, what are you doing? Oh my god. Did you not seriously just fucking... <laughs> like, I want to ping the map. I'm so angry. Okay, well, whatever. He fucking spammed for bogs and now Yellow's running away, even though he has really good stuff. I feel like shotgun engineers would be a really good answer right now. Or Dark Green setting an army. Something. One or the other. One of the two? Either one. But now Brown is all up in your butt. And that's never a place you want Brown to be. Ever. Thane dies. Cool. Rebuild your army, Yellow. I know you have money. Don't pretend. Look at you. Sitting on 3... 3k. 3k! You and Brown's over here distracting with other little ancient of lore bases. Look at him with his strategies and his stuff. Ugh, didn't even kill the short sh crab crawler that didn't exist before this. <laughs> what a noob. Really sad. <laughs> Still a thing. <laughs> Yellow's just trying to get an army now. Oh, poor guy. You can, you can tell he wants to do something. He just doesn't know what to do. And now, alright, now this is where a lot of these furballs are going to meet their end. This is going to get pretty brutal for them if Dark or Brown continues to spam unwittingly. Oh, unwittingly. Oh. But this is going to become a major bastion of defense here, especially with the two pronged attack coming in. And now it looks like Light Blue may be teleporting into the south while Brown continues his attack on Yellow. We'll see what he ends up deciding to do. May have backtracked for a second. Nope, he's teleporting down to go assault Dark Green before he does anything else. He's now pushed Yellow back into his base, and he wants Dark Green to fall. But Dark Green hasn't fallen yet. Dark Green's been a pretty good Bastion. And I think that he has almost equal upgrades in no way whatsoever, said Josh, speaking out of his ass. Neither of these players has equal upgrades. Uh, they've been active, that's what I'll say. Where's Gray? Gray needs to get back in on this and, like, piss off the night or something. Oh, man. Yellow and his no lumber. Dark green is lots of lumber and no money. It's almost like there could be an exchange of some sort, don't you think? Like, huh, you want to give me a thousand gold and I'll give you a thousand lumber? Seems fair. Two thousand lumber. Can I give me some gold? Any gold. One. You don't even know the production facilities required to use all the gold that you have. This is nonsense. At least that's Lakeshire now instead of just a thing. But it's not going to be Lakeshire for long. Unless he uses the summon fighter thing. It could be. No, it's going to go down. And Yellow's going to build up and not participate. And Dark Green's going to try to run in here and do something. He's just targeting Scenarius. He's just... He's just... Fucking... This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. That rejuve is too good. You're gonna throw your whole army away for no chance of killing Scenarius. That's such a good corner for Scenarius to be in. You gotta kill- oh man, and now he's just gonna rejuve while his army continues to build and surround you. Oh, 
this is what you see when someone aims and they didn't think it through. Didn't think it through. Now Dark Green has no army. He No, he's not too strong. You just needed Yellow to share some of his riches with you. You needed a bigger army. You needed help. You needed love. <laughs> You need love. Dude, it already happened. Like, I don't understand why it lasts. <laughs> I love the dramaticism though. Like, no. Don't leave. Please? Please? Oh, I feel for you, lass. I feel for you. You were a good lass. But the day is gone. Green could have joined. Joint Green could have joined in and helped them win. Could have been a thing. If Dark Green hadn't just suicided on him. Green could have come in, Gray could have come in as a thing again, somebody could have contacted him, like, hey, fuck, you want to put a sword really far up Snarius's butt, or preferably Malfurion's and then Snarius's butt, we'd be really happy with that. Unfortunately, Brown is in here just healing his units up so that they never, ever, 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 ever die. Oh, he might die! I'm not gonna die. He, Yellow wants him to die. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Poor Yellow. Murder. Dragons do AoE. Doesn't that suck? Whew! Look at that dragon AoE. God damn. That is 74 to 138 chaos splash damage. Pure chaos splash summon damage. Cassandra's no joke. Snarius is not just a baller for himself. His summon is amazing late game. But that is an undeniable win, I think. I don't think Green's gonna surprise me. He's got eight six upgrades, but him and his three allies didn't buzz, or his one ally. I feel like if Verlion Verlion was a better player and didn't douche out, like if he wasn't such a shit stick, <laughs> it might have been more interesting. But that's just not how things played out. Oh, he's gotta have lost the crown by now, right? There's no way. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crown's gotta be on one of those heroes. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 boy, yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yeah, boy. He still has a flame strike sword. Why would that be, though? I thought that was lost. No, I guess because Sylvanas is still alive with it, so it does transfer to Kael'thas after he died. Okay, okay. Makes more sense. In a weird way. I mean, this murder fest is done, right? Brown's destroying Yellow's base. Light blue is destroying what's left of Dark Green's base. I feel like this is just kind of waiting for the game, everyone to be like, oh, okay, fine. Fine. Scepter of the Queen drops. Well, he did get a kill. He did make him pay. He did make him pay a little bit. So I will give Yellow the... To the last goddamn man he did. And I respect you so much, lass. Well done. You had a weird beginning. And now look at this. Green still here. Oh, but Green's about to get invaded. Oh my god, this scary Furbolg army. It's so messed up. It's so scary. And he almost manages to focus down Malfurion, unfortunately. Not quite enough. Just can't do it. Well, that'll do it. It's an interesting tactic, that Furbolg Mass. I don't know what to say to it. But it did its job. Space, fast, 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 fast forward. There we go. So, Yitz killed goes to Druid Player with 1,010 produced. I believe it was Furbolg Nation up in there. Yitz killed 818, far and away above the next 550 from our Dark Green player. Not a big surprise there. Dark Green was. Pretty awesome, pretty active there for most of the game. Then it's a pretty steady decline through the next three, purple, green, yellow. Very good slaughter to build ratios. I think green really standing out there. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. This has been the one the only did Azathen with Azeroth Wars. Hopefully we can do some live casts. Uh, hopefully I managed to space these out correctly during my move so that the upload rate isn't terribly impacted. There's probably going to end up being you know, two or three days here and there. And I'll do another batch of three and we'll try to keep up. 
<coughs> just gonna be a very busy emotional time coming up here so hopefully we can front load enough content into this emotionally stable time that uh there won't be a noticeable glitch in this life event thanks for joining me i'll see you next time bye guys